And from uh, what my grandmother told me is that, you know, some of the most powerful medicine people in our tribe were those who uh, would know what is going on with somebody and they could use their voice in particular songs to help heal that person. So, you know, it is all intuitive. It has nothing to do with uh, taking, you know, running tests, having a CAT scan, doing uh, urine analysis or any of that. You know, it is intuitive. And I think also physical and um, and psychological. I think that our people were very astute and could see what was, you know, if they could even talking to people, they could figure out, well, you know, this is something that is out of balance for this person. And they could make either a ceremony or s suggestions about how to bring this malady back in balance. So it's all intuitive. It, it has nothing to do with um, anything that has been invented right now. And you know, it's how we practice medicine for thousands and thousands of years, you know, and it's how we, you know, develop the capacity also to find the, the plants that would heal the foods that we could eat safely, all of that, you know, that was done by, by intuition and actually having a keen sense of awareness of the world around us, the natural world. So intuitiveness isn't only person to person, right? It's actually being intuitive to the entire world around us. And, you know, we know that there, there are people who are very attuned to uh, different creatures, uh, different plants, you know, some people are, I think people who, who have this capacity to love are able to to develop that gift in a very high high way right so they're loving the world around them and in that loving the world around them they make that connection and there is that uh, that flow of information between them and whatever it might be whether it's plant animal mineral or or human to human mm -hmm.